Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kristana. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. Today I'm going to be playing around on this piece behind me. I know that it looks like it's already painted. I had done a couple things on here, but I really wanna play around with neon paint today. And I want to kind of show you how I was taught by Anissa, who is actually the curator of this line. So here is Neons by Anissa, and she has a line with Daydream Apothecary. And she has showed me how to get a really cool neon finish, almost kind of like a pastel type neon finish. And I wanna show that to you guys today. So if you guys wanna see that, stay here. To make the first mix, I'm gonna use Mom's Night Out, which is one of the neons, and Ground Control, which is one of the white colors. Ground Control is a pure titanium dioxide, but you can use any white paint you want to create this. So if you have this neon and you have some white paint, just mix them together. I didn't really measure it. I just kind of went by what it looked like. And so I'm, what I'm getting is a pastel coral neon color. And once I'm happy with it, if I wanted it a little bit more light, then I would have added white, but I thought it looked really good. So we're gonna go ahead and do two coats of this on this entire piece. Now I had already prepped this piece before, and this is just paint that I'm gonna paint right over. There's no sealer, there's no wax on it. And so I'm just gonna paint two full coats of my my mix of Mom's Night Out and Ground Control on this entire piece. So I thought my camera was recording for the next step and it wasn't. So I'm gonna explain to you this color, how I got it is I used the neon called So Full of Sunshine and Ground Control and I mixed them just like I mixed the other one. And I am adding this to the top. I'm not doing a full coat on it because what I'm gonna do is I'm going to blend them and then I'm gonna end up sanding it back so that we can see some of that neon coral mix underneath. But these are gonna create neon pastels. This paint is a chalk and clay mix paint, and so it is really good at blending. We're going to mist the surface where that transition line is between the two colors, and I'm going to add that pink mix that we have, that coral, neon coral, whatever we wanna call it, and then we're gonna push it up into the yellow. Now we are going to mist it again, and then we're going to take the yellow and we're going to start working that down into the pink. The key to blending is to make sure that you have a good paint, good paint brushes, and you have moisture. So I'm going to go up and down and go horizontal, vertical, diagonal to start working these two colors together. I am not gonna add any more paint to my brush. I'm just going to mist it and use the paint that's already on the brush, and I'm gonna work those paints together. So I'm going with the pink brush, and I am just working that back up into the yellow, and I'm just using a light hand, but you can see how these paints blend really beautiful together. You don't need a ton of water, you don't need a ton of paint, and really they just work so nice together. So I'm gonna to toggle in between the yellow and the pink brushes to just work these together.
Once everything is blended and dried, I am going to take my 3x4 Electric Gray by Surf Prep and I'm going to sand everything. This is actually a 400 grit sandpaper and I'm trying to expose a little bit of that pink underneath the yellow since that was a thin layer and I'm going to distress these, this piece in different areas. Redesign with Prima came out with new transfers and this one's called white engraving and I thought it would look really cool on those front panels there, especially with these brighter colors. It's kind of like, you know, a sunset or sherbet. And so I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this transfer up against these panels and I'm going to take that burnishing stick and I'm just going to rub around the edges so that way it creates an outline on the other side and I'll know exactly where to cut. Once I have cut it, I am going to peel the transfer away from the protective backing and I'm gonna carefully lay it down. I will take a utility knife and carefully trim any of the edges that go over that little panel. So please be careful when you do this, but I am gonna trim those pieces. And then what I'm gonna do is take my burnishing stick and I am going to burnish or I'm going to transfer or rub, whatever word you wanna use this transfer on to this furniture piece. Once I had the transfer laid down, I carefully burnished it onto the piece. What you do is you take the burnishing stick and you're just going to rub all around on the transfer. And then I carefully pull up one edge and I burnish it while I allow it to transfer over. If it does pull up on the plastic, just push it back down and burnish it more and it will transfer over.
I did want to distress this transfer so it went with the rest of the piece. So I did take a 400 grit sandpaper and I went over it with my sander so that way I could kind of have it be distressed and look old. The paint and transfer both need to be sealed and so I'm going to use Dream Coat by Daydream Apothecary. This is a water-based top coat and in my opinion it is super super easy to use and it has a really beautiful finish almost like a buffed wax finish and so that is what I'm going to do is put that on the entire piece so that I can seal this and it is done. Okay, everybody, this piece is done. This video is done. Here it is. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It is a fun pop of color with some pastel neons. And until next time, I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Happy creating, and I'll see you later. Bye. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in